All right, level editors. Why are they important? For me, I make a lot of uh, game jam games. So I need to be able to create levels quickly because there's not a lot of time. Creating them by hand can be quite time consuming. An example here of a little puzzle game I made for a jam at one point. And as you can imagine, this works by storing the puzzles as a grid. You can see we store the puzzles just in an array, two dimensional array. And it's not that hard to create small levels by hand. Uh, I only have two block types that also makes it pretty easy. But once you're getting to bigger and bigger puzzles and maybe more block types, you can imagine it's hard to visualize in your head what you're doing. So to overcome this, I created a level editor and this one is just in the Godot engine. So I can say, okay, my grid is going to be six by six, for example. And if I play this, you can see I can create the solved state of the puzzle and it's shown here and I can just copy and paste it into my puzzles and it will be a new puzzle for the game. This is extremely fast and it's a great workflow for me being the developer. Uh, but since I already had this functionality, I thought I could also add the editor mode to the game itself. You can play it on itch.io. Itch Once you've completed the game, you unlock the editor mode and in the editor mode, you can create your own puzzle. So you can increase the grid size and you can say, oh, I want this to be the puzzle I want to play. If you say play puzzle, you get a randomized, randomized board, but this is the solved state that you just created. So it creates a bit of more, a bit more content your game without costing you any extra development time because you've already created the level editor for your development process. All right, there are two examples of why level editors are useful.